What up to all my thugs, nerds, geeks, and freaks? You know I'm rocking with the best of Don Tony Teflon. This is, wow, almost over. May of East Town. First pregame show that we're doing. We're only doing two because that's all the episodes we have left. And we're going to talk about in this episode what's going on, what we think is going to happen in this upcoming episode. As always, I am joined by my beautiful co-host, Elamar. How are you? Tony, I'm always good. It's really nice to be here. Anything that happens during the day, this actually makes me smile. So, very nice to be here. How are you? How how are you? Today? I am. I am. I am. I am happy to be here as of you, and and happy for anyone who is joining us. So let's get this thing started. So we still are reeling kind of from the last episode. You know, a lot of big things happened that last episode. You know, we lost a, a beloved character. Well, you know, you know, to me, he was just something. But I know a lot of people, they, they liked him and stuff, you know. So we yeah. lost him, and we lost him in a dramatic way. And, and, and in all honesty, I did not see that, that, that him going out the way he went out like that. How, mm -hmm. how were you feeling? I felt really bad, and now, now that you just mentioned it, um, that we that episode ended like that. Actually, it started like that too. Like, isn't it curious? With the death, it starts with the death of some, some um, of a person we don't know, and kind of don't care about, and it ends with the death of this guy. That I was rooting for him, really rooting for him. He, he I mean, he kissed Mayor, and he was like, "How do you know what I want?" And he like, she's like, hmm, "Okay." Um, so I was hoping for something, you know. For some think, happiness for both, because they yeah, both thought, are not I happy. Think that was, I think that was the clue that we seen. Because once he spilled his guts, that and, and then kissed her, that should have been right. the clue that we needed to show that he was out of here. And there's a reason why they made him spill his guts and come clean and yeah. congrats, get the you know leave the world with an open conscience, you know. And, yeah. um, and I think that that that's what happened in that thing uh, when it was all said and done. So uh, I I I I think that. Uh, you know, it's sad, but, you know, I think that his character ran his course. Now, I think there's a couple of things we have to go over in this episode mm -hmm. before so we can uh, get uh, what's going on. And I, and I will we'll go to come to the chat and we'll get some of y'all predictions and things uh, in, a, in a little bit. But number one, I think we have to look at is what the name of this episode is. And that is So Must Be the Storm. And, and, that, and that's a phrase that comes from a poet, poet mm -hmm. a, a poem. And what that phrase means is it's a metaphor for the work worst circumstances. By this, the poet means the hardest, most unbearable, and challenging circumstance that one comes at that comes at least once in every person's life. So when we hear that, when you hear that, mm -hmm. I think we could look at Mayor. And I think that refers to every character that we're going to see in this episode. And we can look at look look at Mayor. We can see that you know Mayor, you know, dealing with the, the the death of this guy who basically liked her and everything else is going to be maybe one of the hardest things she ever dealt with. I, even though I, you would think that me, me, and that her son would have something to do with that too. What do you think about? It? Uh, when you said that, you said it's uh, at least once in a lifetime. Uh, yeah. I th yeah, at least once. So I'm thinking if they would be like, it comes once in a lifetime, I would be like, what's wrong with my life? <laughs> like, isn't it like, okay, I got to, way too many things just like she did. And a lot of times people get those very, very difficult times, like those stones that they have to carry. Like th there was this... Um, uh, the, the other episodes at some point in the past, you know, he had to carry that stone up the hill. You have to mm -hmm. carry that heavy thing with you. And she's been carrying a lot of heavy things. And this is another thing. She just got the glimpse of possible maybe happiness for, you know, near future. I mean, why not? He's a great guy. And boom, you know, before it even started or had a chance to start, it's taken away from her. And in such a gr uh, gruesome way, too. I mean, it's not like somebody just dropped in. Not that it's, you know, not tragic. But all that stuff that she had to deal with uh, leading up to his death. And it's not, it's, but he got a bullet in his head. His yeah. brain splattered all over the wall. Yeah. That's I, not a pretty sight uh, for, you yeah. know. When, you, when we yeah. look at, I think that that's probably the challenging thing. But also have to look at the fact that, you know, I, I would think that her son committing suicide. You know, it says once in a person's life. And oh, I, I, I think okay. that her son committing suicide would be 
more bigger, you know, a bigger factor yeah. than, than this death actually it would be a harder burden to bear. And maybe somehow that has to come into play. But when we look at the uh, synopsis for this episode, it says, um, after heroic rescue lands her in the hospital, Maya awakes to the pain of losing a friend. Then, giving a second chance by Chief Carter, Maya reevaluates old suspects, which yeah. leads to a shocking clue. Meanwhile, Richard visits Mayor in hopes of deepening their relationship, and Lori confides in her best friend about recent family troubles. Now, you would think that the Lori situation is about her husband cheating, but I think it's a little bit more than that, yeah. which she's going to confess to her and everything else hmm. and all that. And it seems like she's saying that, that it's saying that, you know, the problem that she's going to have is, is dealing with, you know, the loss of, of, of Zabel. Uh, yeah. and, and, and I think that would be, you know, tragic in her life. Obviously, yes. uh, losing someone in that fashion right in front of her face. Oh, yeah. You know, to getting shot. But I still think there has to be a little bit more to it. I still think it's going to have to, because I still think the sun, if it says once in a lifetime, that type of pain, I think she had more pain, you know what I mean, uh, of of her son killing herself. Yeah. That, that's what seems to be haunting her and everything else. You know, to add to that, well, when you mentioned like different things, like um, the death of her son and just issues she had at home and on top of that, um, her partner getting killed like that. I always thought of and still think of stress kind of like I, I have, I'm very... Um, I see, like, I kind of, I'm a very, um, what do you call it? Um, I see stuff, like, in my head, basically. I imagine the stuff, um, uh, for example, um, when it comes to stress, I always thought of it like a glass, and then whatever you add to it, you know, you only have, you. everybody has a different thing. Everybody has a different limit. And all the things add up. So she might not have reacted completely or broken down completely um, with her son's death. Like we know Frank, her ex-husband says, oh, I'm not afraid to talk about our son. Like, you know, she hasn't processed it. So she hasn't broken down. Nothing spilled out of her mind like that. But, you know, it all adds up and it takes just a little bit like a drop for things to go, you know, overflow from mm -hmm. the stress. And this drop and this point may be um, Zabel dying you know comparing to her son it's not fair you know but you know it everybody has their limit and that one thing can push somebody over the edge yeah i see people in the chat they're saying certain things and i'm gonna have to disagree with just about every one of them and i and i respect everybody you know what i mean with, with, with all you're saying people saying this disagree with me but listen this is this 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 is this is what it is man but billy billy's the guy <laughs> yeah, y'all can say what the you guy want. who killed or kidnapped or what? Which which? He is he is the baby's father. That makes yeah. him the kid. I told y'all from the beginning of this <laughs> whole situation that whoever the I, from the day one, I said whoever the baby father is is the killer. Yes, you did say that. that yeah, day one, and I'm telling you, Billy's the father. That means that Billy is the killer. I'm I'm telling you, it's all said and done. That's what it's going to go down as. Yeah. If he's the baby's father, he's the killer. Now, is it a possibility that his brother is that? We see that his brother, you know, likes to have affairs and stuff like that. But having an affair with the same, it, it says clearly he's having an affair with the same woman. Yeah. You know, that's what the, that's what the son says. It's the same guy he did it with before. You know, so I, I, I think that in the end, I, I think it's but it all points to him, especially... Uh, 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 especially with, with the with the trail of my Mary, it, is it possible for Tony Teflon to be wrong? Not, not, no, <laughs> really, no. <laughs> my Mary, we, you, you should know, know history, what you're history has shown <laughs> that, that usually that that's not the case. <laughs> the predictions you make, uh, from what I remember, uh, th they are like right there proven within an episode or two. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> history shows it's not. But hey, everyone has a possibility. But you know, history shows that, that usually I'm not. But I, I think it's him in the end. But there is yeah. an interesting person here that that I that I, I am. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people in the chat could could help figure this out. I have no mm -hmm. idea what this is uh, myself. Uh, it is. Uh, we'll go back to the screen in a second. But it's uh -huh. this person right here from the IMDb. This guy, Scott Teller. He's in these last mm -hmm. two episodes. We have not seen him all season long, huh. but in these last two episodes, he's in. Yeah. 
And now we know that the killer was mm-hmm. only put out in that one episode. Hmm. And 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 they described him as playing himself. Like so it's uh, that seems to be like a placeholder for mm-hmm. something else that they're not trying to give away. You know what I mean? Like I don't think Scott Teller's playing Scott Teller the actor. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he is, but maybe he is. I, I but I don't think so. I, I think that something else is going on there when it's all said and done. Uh what what do you think about this guy? So I, I can I looked at his picture and he um is definitely somebody who can overpower somebody else. I mean, his shoulders, like he, um, you know, he has a beard and, and dark hair. So definitely can see as somebody um, being able to even, even do something just on him by himself. Like he doesn't need a partner w- with anything. Uh, I'm curious to, um, I got to say last time when we uh, looked at this, I did not look at his face close up. For some reason, I thought that I was the guy from um, the last episode that we saw, the guy who mm-hmm. uh, Mayor shot. But obviously, that's not him. No, it's not <laughs> that's him. Not, that's not him. So I thought that was the guy. I didn't even bother looking like, oh, I guess we saw him then and we're going to see him maybe one more time. But then I'm thinking, did, did you get a chance to see or did you check out if this guy, the kidnapper or the guy who Mayor shot, is he listed here at all? Do they even list him? I don't remember, but again, I didn't check. So, if if they even, um, you know, showed him to us in um in this list of actors, or they just kind of yeah. No, I, I mean, he's there for a reason, and he's in these last two episodes. What he's going to do, you know, it, it, they're they're not saying, but they're not going to put who he is because they put who he is, it would it, it would blow up the whole episode. Yeah. It's something that. It, the whole episode is going to lean. The last two episodes is going to lean on his character somehow. Somehow, his character is playing a very important part in this in this show. They better make it important. So it to be, because there's no way they will go through this and put him there at right. all at the end if it wasn't. Now, I'm going to answer this question <laughs> that's up here from William, and it says they never said for certain that John Ross was having an affair. Now, I, I, I think it's pretty obvious he is. And I think, I mean, they did spell it out that he was. Mm-hmm. I think they did say for certain that he was. I mean, the mom asked the son, is dad doing it again? Is he doing it with the same woman? I, I don't, I think when you, when he, she's, she's saying, I don't think she's mean that the iron in clothes. Right. Like what I, else can he be doing yeah, with the same he's woman? Doing about the house yeah. and the guy and, and, and for, 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 you know, saying hi to somebody. And he's did it before. So I think it's pretty obvious that he has had an affair and he's yeah. having an affair with the same woman. I, I think the woman's Faye. <laughs> That's why I think it is. I think it's going to be Faye when it's all said and done. But, uh, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, I think that, you know, he's definitely having an affair. I don't, I don't see how anybody would, would yeah. else would be up there. Uh, no, 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 no. It's saying uh, maybe they put on IMD to fool people. No, I am. That's not the case. I mean, they're not here to fool people. They're not. They 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 put it up there for a reason, yeah. and it, it's up there because he's in the show, but they don't want to say who he is in the show. And he's the mm-hmm. only one out of all these characters in here who has self or something like that. Everyone else has a, some type of role: church, yeah. girl, academy student, Tammy, Ally. He just has self, hmm. Hmm. which means something is definitely going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Without a shadow of a shadow of a doubt, and and, I, and you see in the preview episode, if you watch the video, you can see I pointed out the guy has the guy has a a, a mattress, and he's in his dad's house. You know, mm-hmm. so yep. this seems like he's gone back to go live, live with his pops and stuff. You know, so I, I would have no. to, you know, I don't think it's hard to say that the guy is not the guy. The guy is definitely uh is, is having okay. an affair now. And this is why, listen, this is what, listen, they show it in the, in the and I know they're not going to give everything away, but I put together a couple, my last video, a couple of different, um, I used a couple of different previews to, to point out the fact, but they show, the, the dad says, says to him, listen, I have something I want to tell you. We know that, that Aaron stayed in that house. Now, it seems like Billy lives in that house. That means the father lives there already. And if mm-hmm. Aaron stayed there, she stayed in the house and the dad was there. The dad probably yeah. seen him. Right. Sex. So, right. so when people say that John could have been the guy, John had a family. He wasn't living there. So I don't think he had the opportunity to do it. 
But Billy in the same house drinking and everything like he seems yeah. like he likes to with this young girl. He, I and he's think much he younger too, right? He's, old, yeah, he's, he's younger, younger than the brothers. And that's, uh, that's another important fact yeah. too, that he's, he's closer to this chick's age. Yeah. You know, we don't know guy. how old he is. We, I, I don't know how old he, I mean, he, I don't, I have no idea. I can't tell people's age just by looking at them that I can do that. Maybe somebody knows how old he may be. And that's a factor too. Maybe he still thinks that, you know, he's around that age that she is. Maybe she, to him, it's not anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. But according to the law, you know, that that's not the case. But like, would the father uh, keep quiet? You know, I don't see yeah, father I just like, you know, oh, my son did this. I'm going to turn you in. Like, I, I see a father as covering up. Yeah, I see a father like, motherfucker, what are you doing? Exactly. Your, your cousin's daughter. You know, he'll kick your ass behind yeah, that. Yeah. You know, you better get and then then throwing the girl out after that. Like, get, now you got to go. You got to get out of here. And now all of a sudden she wound up pregnant. You know, mm -hmm. we've seen her with some money saved up. I, didn't, I don't know if they said that she had a job or anything like that, but maybe, you know, maybe it's his father that, that gave mm -hmm. her that money for the surgery. Maybe she's going back because he knows, you know what yeah. I mean? Maybe so he's been I, giving her money a little bit, little by little, and then maybe she was hitting him up for more and he just couldn't, you know, or don't want to. Like, Listen, yeah. if, you don't, if, you don't, if you don't give me the money, yeah. I'm going to have to tell my father because he's on my ass because that's the first thing we see. The first thing we, we see is the father saying, listen, I'm paying for everything. I'm paying for diapers. Yep. I'm paying for this, and I'm sick of paying for this shit. So that is what her catalyst is, that she can't deal with that anymore. Her mm -hmm. father's screaming on her face when she's making macaroni and cheese. You know what I mean? She can't take that anymore. So she's got to find a way to get this money. So she probably went to this dude and was like, listen, man, I need this dough. And if you don't give it to me, I'm just going to have to tell my dad the truth about you being the father, and then he's going to have to come take it out on you. And we've seen how crazy that guy is. I mean, the guy kidnapped that little boy. You're not a young little boy, but he kidnapped that kid and when he thought that he was the one who did it. So if he was willing to do that to him, what do you think mm -hmm. he would do, do to Billy? I think he'd do oh, yeah. He may do worse because it may hurt him yep. worse that his own family did this to him. Exactly. You know? Especially if he found that he was sleeping with it, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, so... And then, then we see the dad, you know, after that, we see the dad look at Billy while Billy's in the bathroom, in the laundry room, and mm -hmm. we clearly can see a bottle of bleach right behind him, mm -hmm. and then Billy slams the door in his father's face, yep. like he doesn't want him to see what's going on. So when we, when we look at, when we look at, you know what I mean, when we look at the bleach, there's only one reason to have that bleach in Blood. there. No, or, that's it. Or other he's trying to, he's yeah. trying, they're trying to cover up some blood spatter with it, you know? They're trying to clean something out. And, and it could be that. And then all of a sudden we see him, you know, we, we see we see him take, I, all of a sudden he's got a gun and he's hiding it inside of his tackle box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I think when we, to me, when it, when it all adds up to me personally, it, it acts like Billy's the dude. Billy's the killer and he's the baby's father. Yeah, I, I think that that's in my opinion. Everybody, that's what we're here for. We're here for everybody's <laughs> opinion. We want your yeah. opinion and stuff like that. We want to we yeah. hear from you. So what, what are you feeling about it, Elmar? I also think that he, first of all, he's the father. Um, everything points to that. Uh, especially he's getting nervous, but his um, uh, brother, John, is not nervous. He's just sitting there chilling and he, they're not, I didn't notice them exchanging any nervous looks or anything like that. So, um, I don't um, see John being the father. So Frank would be the father. And somebody here before mentioned that maybe that was an death was an accident. And I was thinking that sometimes they're crimes of passion. You know, they're not planned out. It just happens in the moment um, for whatever reason. Um, it just things get out of hand. It's not premeditated. It's just, you know, somebody either is in a struggle they're struggling like physically, um, um, you know, he might've put his hands on her, but then it got out of hand. Basically he might've, whatever he did to her, um, obviously he shot her and he died. He, he did have access to a gun. I don't know whose gun it was though. I don't know if it was John's or that was Billy's gun, but again, we're going to get the results of the, um, cause that was ha all happening over, over the weekend. So that was Friday, then Saturday and Sunday. Um, and Monday we were supposed to get the results, right. Of that ballistic 
testing mm -hmm. so we know what gun is registered and and, and such um because that's how they have it they, that's how they you know find out stuff um i'll be surprised if this was somebody else's gun if it turns out that it's not the gun um that is owned by frank or john Mm -hmm. um they might say you know it might say yeah it's 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 theirs but they're gonna be like oh we you know we didn't have it we didn't have it, it went missing um maybe you know what's his name frank did it you know because frank had the gun um and he pulled it out and shot um um what's his name uh dylan so mm -hmm. yeah no it, it's so what i think happened is billy we, we see that the, the brother is now staying with them right Yes. We see he's staying there with him. So the fact that he lives with his father could be a good chance that Billy doesn't have his own vehicle. We see him loading that that uh, that tackle box into the back of a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. And then we see another scene of a pickup truck speeding away, and it looks like Frank's pickup truck, his brother's pickup truck. So I think he takes his brother's truck and the tackle box. He puts it in there. He drives off, and he throws that shit in the river to try to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And I think we see Mayor in the water, running through the water. Now, she's either running through the water for the bike, or she could be running through that water, which I don't think, why would you run through the water for the bike? But she could be in that water because she found the tackle box. Mm -hmm. In the end, I think that's what it's going to go down. Uh, I think, but uh, my marriage that she wants to explore, uh, the the, the uh, poker night has some mm -hmm. secrets. Now, if Poker Knight does have some secrets, I think then it comes to the older brother. I think he would be involved with that. What do you think? You think there's something else going on with this guy? Because it, it did end very fast with him. I mean, mm -hmm. they 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 found that you know they showed the girls being kidnapped in one episode, and he's dead the next episode, just like that. Yeah. So um, somebody said it here earlier. Uh, oh, I think uh, Todd Dawson sixty eight um, said some. Um, do you think there is more to the winner of poker night? Uh, I they didn't the girls or the girl didn't mention it. Uh, she just says he doesn't come here or doesn't come for us on it's a Friday night, right? So she didn't make it seem like anybody else was coming there. I mean, I can kind of see like you know whoever he plays poker with gets to um, go uh, see the girls, you know, at some point, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it doesn't happen on Friday um, uh, on poker night because they she did say that they don't he doesn't come there friday um it so it must be a different day um yeah I, I just wonder i really wonder who what's up with this whole poker night and um if there's anything that any of them know like if they would be there for poker night i don't see and they somebody in during that poker night would know about the girls too i don't see why they would not go there and basically rape them that night yeah, I, I, I agree. It could be something else going on there. Linda Kelly says, let's explore, though, how Erin got a message to meet someone at the park. It's impossible unless she had a burner phone with somebody because it's not on her phone. Yeah, so that, that that's from what Mayor says that the last known contact on her phone was from the, 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 the deacon. Deacon, yes. And then the deacon says that she got a call at the end of the night saying that upset her and saying to meet that's why she wanted to go to the park so someone had to send her to meet that's why i can't believe it's dylan because she was just catfished by dylan right mm -hmm. so i don't think that she would fall for that trick twice it had to be something else so i i think it had to be billy saying saying something about it it, it has to be someone that why would mm -hmm. she, why would she go back and meet dylan after she just got beat up by his girlfriend and he stood there and watched and he talked about how she was she she he blew it inside the the attic, and yeah. embarrassed her in front of everybody. If, if he called her up, why would she go out there? I, I, it has to be someone else. I think it would have to be uh, Billy. And, and yes, the burner phone. I don't think she has enough money to have a burner phone. You know, you know. I I think just her having one cell phone is expensive for her. From what we see, yeah. so I don't think it's a burner phone. But how could it be there? Uh, she have that and mayor said that's the last contact unless it wasn't on you know unless it wasn't through like a regular phone app unless it was like on a facebook messenger yes, or exactly something like that it contacted that way and mayor didn't check like the facebook messenger she just checked 
you yeah, know, the regular and, phone records. Yeah, and I don't see kids even these days uh, using like my kids. They they rarely ever use a uh, phone. Like actually, well, they use their phone, but they don't text me on the phone. I'm used to texting them, and they're like, "Oh, mom, why aren't you on Snapchat or or something like that? Why, why aren't you on whatever?" And they they list the stuff. Kids these days, at least here where I'm at, they don't even use Facebook. They use all kinds of other apps to communicate. So I don't see um, Aaron actually texting, you know, unless it's somebody who's older who's used to texting. They would be using a different way of communication that would not just come up like that. On uh, that, it's difficult to get a record of that. Yeah, it's it's something something is going on there too. And, and uh, this guy, who is this person? Tad Todd Watson. I guess he mm-hmm. he feels he's right on everything. So uh, let, let, let's let, let's give let's give mm-hmm. this person a chance. Uh, th- th- what he's saying. So capital, you got to put put an explanation point behind his no. I guess he wants to scream it out there. All right. Billy is just scared because he knows too much. I I I, I think he's yeah. scared, and I think he knows too much because he's the one who did it. I don't think it could be any other way. There's no way that I could see it being his brother. It has to be him in the end. I already broke it down exactly why. If you can give why you would think it would be the brother or someone else or what Billy knows, uh, please put it in the comments. We, we would like to hear, hear your knowledge on this situation and and I would love uh, to hear what you have to say about this and why you, why just, you think it is. Because yeah. it seems like a lot of people agree with you and stuff like yeah. that. But what what do they agree? I don't understand no. you because you're not. I'm not getting an explanation here. So and yeah. it says, and uh, we got another no, no, no. It's the winner of poker night. They are blindfolded and tied up. They wouldn't know. Well, they, they wouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, it, all right, all right. So if. You think that the person who wins poker night gets to go down there and sexually assault, assault the girl? They and the do, yeah. that, And the fact that she's tied up, she wouldn't know. I, I could, I can get down with that. I, I could get down with that. That not the person who wins poker night, but someone else is also doing it. But I think you would know. I, I think, you know, I think they would know the difference yeah. between that guy and somebody else. I, I think anyone knows. I mean, this isn't Revenge of the Nerds, right? In Revenge of the Nerds, you know, they did that in the story, and somehow this girl, because the guy had on the uh, the mask, she she couldn't tell that that wasn't her boyfriend for some reason or whatever, which was, you know, it's a comedy. Uh, the reality is that you would know. I mean, if anyone who's been with anyone would know, that's not the person they've been with. I just don't think yeah. that uh, blindfold is enough mm-hmm. to stop all your sensors sensories yeah. that are going on out there and, and um i get like maybe um they, they don't the girls don't men- or the girl doesn't mention anything about anybody else doing it to them or to to them like it's from the way she said it and maybe she didn't say everything but from what she said it sounded like it doesn't happen during poker night before during or after um and it, it looks like it's just him doing it so uh and yes women would know um definitely uh, but uh I was that. I mean, uh, to to his point, I get it. That was one of my things too. Like I was thinking about that until I kind of like thought about it a little bit more. Like, hey, no, no, that you know, all the stuff that she said kind of rules it out for me at least. Unless uh, if they actually say that something happened, then they kind of misled us. Yeah, I think I think it could be a little bit of both. There, you know, I could see it going going down like so. I I don't think I think when you have a secret like that, eventually you do tell somebody. You know what I mean? Uh, as for as for you know uh, Billy being the red herring of the week, I, I don't think I think it's a little late for this right now. I think the, the red herring thing is a little late. It's two episodes left. I think you, you got to start bringing this thing to a to a wrap. It says in the preview that she starts going over old suspects and get, comes to a conclusion. So. Who is the old suspect? And it says that her, you know that that she's going over. Who's the old people that get that that can lead to a clue to what exactly happened here? You know, you have to start mm-hmm. thinking about it somehow like that. I would think. Yeah. You know, so uh, it'll all depend on that. What's going on there uh, with with these with these old suspects? Um, I I I really can't get past. I mean, I, I would love for it. You know, I I I would love to. Uh, to think, think it's something else. Regine the Great says, uh, 
telling you the teens are involved with the sex ring. <laughs> uh, Aaron's friend sold her out to be catfished. Uh, maybe, maybe. I, I think that the fact that they are all on sex workers has something to do with it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the fact they were all on, I, I just don't think that was just a clue that this so far happened to help lead lead her to the this kidnapped woman. Uh, her friend's daughter. I think there's something to do with that sex worker thing. Yeah. I wonder if that friend, I forgot her name, uh, the friend who actually mentioned that Frank may be the father. I wonder if they're, because they didn't check her. We kind of ruled her out saying, oh no, it, it made it, she made it sound like it was just Aaron. But who knows, maybe she's involved in it too. But um, at that point, I forgot her name, the the, the girl who beats Aaron up, the Dylan's girlfriend or ex-girlfriend at yeah, this point. Yeah. Um, she, obviously she doesn't know much stuff from what we saw. Like she was like, oh, you were not here. What were you doing? If she knew about some stuff that Dylan was doing, she would be like, oh, you were there doing whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so she would, yeah, I don't think she knows so uh, she's really kind of a person that I would see as right. knowing things like that. Let me let me address this person here. Tata, Tata, one son. says, wait a minute, you're in detox and blindfolded. How are you going to know? Number one, the girl's been there for a year. All right. She's in detox. She's been kidnapped for a year there. She was perfectly uh, in her mind. When that other girl got brought in, she was sane. She was she was she didn't look like she was in withdrawals in any way. She yeah. didn't look like there was a problem. The new girl looked like it because oh, she, just she brought, was messed up. Yeah, she just one. got brought in. But the girl yeah. who's been there, who who's the one who's saying all these things, because the new girl just got there. I don't, I don't even know if he had a chance to do anything with her. She got there so fast, and uh, <clears throat> she says coherently everything yes. that's that's going on. So you saying that she's in detox? She's not in detox she's at not. all. So I I don't know what, what you're talking about there. I'm I'm not I'm they're not picking up what I'm throwing down. I'm not, I don't think anyone could pick up what you're putting down there at all because I don't think that that's feasible what you're saying here. So she's not in detox. We got to, you got, we can only go on facts. Yeah. And and again, exactly. Like completely right. Um, Tony, she is not in detox. She's been there for a year and um, she didn't say anything about anybody else doing something to her. And um, just to let people know, and women probably can agree, women know. (laughs) Everybody, like yeah, like how how would you not know? Like you, you, how would you I, not I, know yeah, who I you're with? A man would know. A woman, I think yeah. a woman would know. She would yes. know the feeling of something going inside like, of her. And or even the, the, the body, between. just just the way people might kiss or the anything and everything. The way it, the, everybody's the different. Somebody's hands touching you. Yeah. It's the way they touch you. Yeah, exactly. everything would be different, one hundred percent. So I think it's pretty obvious that you know you would know. And if you didn't know, then you just Something's wrong with you. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> as, as you know, with her, too. unless they drugged her before. I mean, if she's, but they, it doesn't sound like they. He does. It's not like he slips her something. He doesn't have to slip her anything besides himself. Um, you know, for yeah. that. No, she was one hundred percent, one hundred percent right in her senses. That's why she was explaining to the mm-hmm. other girl what's going on because she's in her senses. She understands everything that's going on. And if it been turns out for, that she's been there for yeah. over a year when she gets found, you know, a little bit over a year before she gets found. So, yeah. and he well, says, um, I guess we'll see. But uh, if they actually make it like there are more people doing this and on poker night, then that's just bed writing. Because, like I said, women know, and they just said that he doesn't come for them on Friday, and on it's Friday. Friday. So, so those maybe- three things don't add up if they actually have somebody else and they have them blindfolded and they have them on Friday or any other day, then they didn't do their, you know, their, their, their yeah. hey, listen, could it be someone else coming down and getting them on a different night, but poker nights, the off limit night, but then someone else shows up on a different night and then they do that thing with the girls. That's quite possible because she specifically just talks about that night. No one's yes. going to bother you this night. You don't have yes. to worry about this. You don't have to be afraid this night. That you're you're safe this night because it's poker night, and yeah. that, that's basically what it is. Everything else, uh, people say uh, Siobhan is involved in some way. I think Siobhan is involved in her brother's death some way. Whether whether she yeah. gave him the money to what well, he got, if, she, if he if he overdosed on drugs, 
whether she gave him a hot shot and that's the reason like something it's something to do with her because we did see like you know in the preview we did see mad like grab her by the shoulders a little bit like she was mad at her for something and I, I could see it like somehow Siobhan is, is involved with the her, yeah. where her, her uh, brother died in some way. She's just too nice. They're they're painting her as really, really wonderful person. And well, yeah. yeah. Are people saying the fairy face graffiti artist, sex worker, informant? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, the title is right. uh, I think that he is important in solving the case. I, I, I think it's, it comes down, this, this person is a problem. I think, all right, so Fitz is saying, uh, I think we'll find out about Poker Night yeah. one way or another. Yeah, no, no doubt yeah. about it. We're definitely going to find out what's, what's, what's going on right there, you know what I mean? Without, 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 without a shadow of a doubt, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that, that, that Shafon, Shaf I think Shafan, that's my Shafan's my my cousin's actual name. She doesn't spell it like that at all. Mm -hmm. It always throws me off when I see that. I think that she may have something to do with her brother's death. I think that mm -hmm. that's what her thing's going to be in the mm -hmm. end. That she had something to do with, maybe indirectly, like she didn't do it. You yeah. know what I mean? But maybe she's the one who gave him the money, or maybe she's the one who went out and got the stuff for him this one time. Something happened there. Yeah. You know that 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 because we see Mayor grab her on the shoulders, and then we see another scene and we see Mayor hugging her mother and they're crying at the door. Mm -hmm. So that I don't know what that could be. Maybe that they they the son the, uh, the her grandson got taken away from her at that time, and they're crying about it. But they they're definitely uh, upset about something at the bottom of the doorway of mm -hmm. their house too. Yeah. So yeah, I, I would think if the mom is that upset, it may have something to do with. With the with the grandson, uh, or something mm -hmm. like that, uh, you know. I, but or maybe maybe Shafan gives gives the grandson to to the mother, and the mother does something, and he winds up getting killed, and that's mm -hmm. why Mayor's grabbing, him, you know. But so, something's definitely going on with her, and I I agree with Jennifer Wolf saying who says uh, uh, the the it's the, the answer is in the document. Yeah, the answer for the the brother's death is definitely a clue in that documentary. I think that's why that, that they're showing us this document. Yeah, there's always a mention of it. I think I'm I'm guessing right now in each episode there is kind of a pointing to it at least every once in a while. They had it in the first episode probably, and they're continuing with it. Yeah, in my marriage and what 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 was the picture in Erin's best friend's pocket? I think that's a picture of Billy. I mean, I think it has to be a picture of her kissing Billy or you know something because. You, we know the chief gets the picture. Yes. Because we see her in there and she hands the picture over to him. So what else would that girl have a picture of? She's not going to have a picture. If it had something to do with Dylan, it, we already know about him. So it wouldn't mm -hmm. be anything that Dylan would have to make it think. And the fact that the chief says, get mayor and get her right now. Yes. And screams like that. It's got to be a picture of Billy and her while they're kissing, yeah. making out. It's something going on there. Without, without, without a doubt. And all that stuff that was burned, Regime the Great says the diary, diary held the key to the sex ring. Like, I wonder what all that stuff basically was. <laughs> all that stuff in there. I don't know if we could define it as a sex ring. It's <laughs> one girl. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't know. A sex ring sounds like, you know, sounds like kind of like Pizza Gate to me, you know, like this, like, like, like multiple, multiple people. Here. Right. And maybe there have been, but well, we're it's only a small aware town, of but oh my God. Yeah, I, I think I, we're only aware of one person. And the other sex workers seem to be in good standing. Like, you know what I mean? Like the one lady, she's mm -hmm. making top notch money, just playing with old man's private right. parts. And, and and the other one seemed like she was in good standing too. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. I, I don't know. It, it, uh, like uh, Tad, Tad son says that it's Chekhov's gun. I don't know if it's Chekhov's gun because it's been introduced so late. Hmm. And, yeah. you know, Chekhov's gun is something that is introduced early in the show. Like usually the episode, the first and beginning of the book or something like that. Yeah. And then you come around. This was introduced an episode ago. So it was pretty late to be Chekhov's now. So I, I don't know, I know about that. But what I do know about is this goddamn person 
right here in this goddamn app. This 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 mm-hmm. dude right here has a major role to play in yeah. this whole situation. This guy right here, Scott Teller. And I don't know who Scott Teller is or who he's playing, but he's in both episodes. So it's mm-hmm. not this one. He's in both of these episodes, and they're not bringing this man in this late in the game just just to say hi. This is shake somebody's hand. He's in the last two episodes for a reason. I have no Mm -hmm. idea why Scott Teller is there. They won't say who he's playing because it's too spoilery. If if he's down with the sex ring, then I could see it. You know what I mean? He could be the brother of, of the killer. Or someone who was down with the whole, you know, if you, y'all want to call it the sex ring. He could be someone who's down with the sex ring, too. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But he, we, we, you get, be on a lookout tonight for that character. Yeah. Everybody in the chat, look for this dude, this this Scott Teller. He's playing an important <laughs> role. There's a reason why they're doing it. And, and I agree with what with Mad Mary said. Um, she says they um, bring a per- new person to be the kidnapper. That really pissed her off. If they do it for the murder, mm. yeah, I agree. I the two last episodes should be full of action and kind of. Um, I think should be there should be action like this third one, the one this one here um, last week. Th- it was a great episode. I loved that episode. So I hope they keep the momentum of it going with the last people two that they he, won't slow down people are saying he's a reporter what reporter would he be i mean for what why would they have to hide his identity on imdb if he's just a reporter hmm. why wouldn't they just put reporter up there you know what i'm saying if he was a reporter why would they just put reporter up there hmm. That 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 yeah, if that's the case, I mean, if is if he is a reporter or something, let me see if they have. I mean, they got Dennis bartender, book signing, book signing, Geth Zabel's friend, and they have someone right here, Jared McKinley, report as a reporter, as you can see right here. Okay, yeah, he has the title. Yeah. We have another one, Francisca Carla, reporter number two. So we have people already listed as reporter. Mm-hmm. So if he was a reporter. I think they would have listed him as reporter number three, but he's not listed as reporter number three. Do they list uh, this guy, the the the, ki- the kidnapper? Did you? Yeah, get they do. They do have the kidnapper. I mean, I don't know exactly where, but he is listed here. The so the guy who uh, was shot by Mayor is listed here somewhere, right? Yeah, she is listed there. Okay, he is. Okay. So I, I don't know why they wouldn't put if if it was a if it was a reporter. I don't know why they wouldn't put the reporter mm. in there. And you know, I don't. I mean, they already have two people in there already listed as reporter, but they would just hold it back from him. I just, I just don't know. I don't know why they would do that. Something else is going on with this guy. I'm telling. You, we'll we'll mm. find out. We're definitely gonna find out. You know what I mean? Without a doubt. Uh, uh, Susan, Suzanne is saying maybe I missed someone saying this. What about Richard, the author, being involved in some of the crimes? Maybe Mayor is going to. Seek him out once Zabel is gone. You know, I, I just don't see it being him. I know a lot of people want it to be. I, I it just doesn't add up to me for it to be him. You know what I mean? When when, when I when I when I look at him, I just I just don't I just don't see it uh, mm-hmm. uh, being him at all. Just just for the fact that I don't think he's around. Mm-hmm. When all the, I don't think he's around last year, so I don't think he's involved with the kidnapping of the girl. And as for this girl, when she got killed, he was with Mayor that night. And so I, I don't see him having sex with Mayor that night than going outside in the park and meeting some random girl and just shooting her in the head. Hmm. I don't see the, the connection. The, the, you know, when you have a crime, what they say, you have to have the motive and the opportunity, right? Those are two things you have to have. The motive is the money. That's it. That, that, that's the only thing that we've seen that this girl is looking for is, is the money to get her son fixed, uh, a doctor's appointment. Someone has to have the opportunity to go to go and do it. And I don't see him having the motive. Maybe you can say he somehow he could have the opportunity. He could have got there somehow and done it. But he doesn't have any motivation to kill to kill that girl. Hmm. Um, I think John, uh, not John, uh, John Evans mentioned something. 
uh, earlier about um, somebody has to be in charge of that website that um, the girls were on. I wonder if uh, somebody is uh, like the competition, like the website is competition to uh, just regular sex workers who just, you know, stand wherever they usually stand, whatever street corners they are on. I wonder if they see it as a competition that those girls from, you know, regular having other lives that they, they don't do it on daily basis. They just pop in there and they take their guys, they take their income. It could be uh, definitely without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, I could see that going down the way you're saying it. it could be someone, you know, could be, could be involved in helping, helping uh, people get those, those girls to them and stuff. And, uh, I, and my Mary, listen, we're dealing with Richard and, I, and this is why I, I agree Richard is here to show Mare that life isn't so sucky, all right? Richard's there to show Mare that even though she felt like her life is all fucked up, things can be worked out. Like, he's the, the good thing to show her that, hey, even though you think you got it so bad, it's not as bad as you think. Things can look mm -hmm. up. And he's here to show her that side of life and, and be a part with her like that. I think that's his job in this show. You know what I mean? And he's good at it too. I mean, like I said, I wanted him to be a little bit more than just this good guy. But um, he's great. He's a great actor. I really, really like this guy um, in any role he plays. So if that was the only thing that he was there for, I guess I'm fine with it. <laughs> I have yeah, I, I that. I'm good. Because there's That's nothing my, else. Nothing yeah, else came up. Yeah. When, when the season finale is over, we'll come on and do a pregame show. And then we'll do an immediate reaction when it's over. That would be nice, yeah. We'll do an immediate reaction right when it's over at 11 o'clock at night <laughs> from 11 to 12. We'll do an immediate reaction right right after that yes. and everything else. So I think I mean, we'll see how disappointed like our reactions right away. Right, yeah, we'll I like that we're right away. Just, just our reactions, like what happened. Yeah, Susan's like, like Richard is so mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why the ladies over there like him so much. Maybe so, you know. Yeah. But I, I think that's what he is. I think he, you know, look in the clip they show him coming and like bringing like a picnic basket. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, a picnic basket is just like an old school and the mom is all happy that mayor has got some man who's bringing her a picnic basket. You know what I mean? And it just seems that, you know, th that that's what he's just there to remind of, of the of the uh, the simple things in life. You know, the little things mm -hmm. in life is what matters. And, you know, just going out and having the picnic with someone and all that. And and even though your life didn't turn out exactly the way you want it, doesn't mean you didn't have a good life. You know, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that you still can't have a good life. Yes, you got stuck in that same town you grew up in, but sometimes that's not so bad, yeah. you know, and, and you get to meet this guy who moved into your time and, and town right. and everything else. So I, I think that's yeah. what I think that's what his he's the calming influence in her life. You know, yeah. he's dead. Let, let everyone know that life ain't so bad after all. Yeah. And I, he's I been through some stuff, too. So that's. He's got that life experience. And just to add quickly for Ted Dawson, um, 68, um, he says, from a small town, no one is standing on a street corner. The only reason why I said that is I thought, um, what's her name? Uh, her friends, um, not a friend, when they're that lady, the sex worker, the retired, semi-retired sex worker, she was mentioning street corners or at least streets. That's the only reason why I mentioned uh, street corner because she was mentioning a couple streets. Um, so that's why I said that. All right. So we, uh, uh, Louise Brooke, thank you for the super chat. What if Rich's daughter has a tie to the priest or was the pregnant abducted girl? Why he's is, is here. Yeah. I, I think that if that was the case, he would have brought it up to her at least once that his daughter was abducted and pregnant and got and been kidnapped. I think he would have said, mm -hmm. said something like that. I don't think he would just, hold that from her and wouldn't she know that i mean i'm sure but again she did not would, would sable mention going back to the old cases even though he kind of went there but because of somebody else what if um mayor didn't look into the old old files because then wasn't it mentioned that something like that happened years ago or at some point sometime back in the past and she has to go back to see what actually happened then to actually look through this stuff 
Maybe she didn't do a um, thorough job inspecting all the old clues. And maybe what Zabel mentioned about that dude checking on the alibis, maybe that's going to trigger something. And who knows? Oh, Rim Steven, uh, Rim, Rim 17 is saying on Scott Teller's Twitter page, says he's plays a reporter called the Redman in Mayor of Easttown. Not, uh, uh, in, is it say in M of E? I guess that's what it would be. Uh, Redman, reporter. I mean, why, I just don't know why they, I, and if that's what he's putting on his Twitter page, and that's probably what it is, but why wouldn't they put that down there? Why wouldn't they put reporter? Isn't he an act? I didn't. It didn't say on, in his bio that he's a reporter. So when saying he plays himself, unless he's a reporter with that name, but then he's not technically playing himself because he's putting on a persona of and a reporter, which he's not. Well, because she did say, like, like she did try to say she said that there was a common case in New Jersey, right? Yes. He said there's a common case in New Jersey, and that that's what she was trying to to figure out what the connection was. So, mm. you know, is Richard from New Jersey? <laughs> mm. um, if that's the case, then they should have put something else than self. Self is such a broad thing. Self, people look it up and the self is whatever it's described about him. And yeah. I didn't see anything that said a reporter. Yeah, Luis is saying, uh, yeah, it seems so weird Guy Pierce is there. Why? I don't know why. It, it, I, I agree. It, it, I think, if anything, he's just going to be the romantic interest. He hasn't been in every episode. So mm -hmm. to, to give the guy uh, that notoriety, I, I don't know if it, I think they would have put him in there a little bit more. If he turns out to be the killer in the end, I would be shocked. 100% yeah. shocked. I, 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 really I won't 100% be, yeah. can't see him doing that at all. I, I just don't see it. I mean, if he's involved in, in this so-called sex ring, if we're, we're calling it, maybe. I mean, I, I don't know if he was there a year ago to do that. Has he been there a year ago to get that done? I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, I mean, there are we two, don't know. That, that's the whole yeah. thing about it. That's why it's a good yeah. show. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, there are two episodes. So if they do a good job building whoever we've seen thus far, who we did not kind of have any more clues on if they do a good job in this last and these two last episodes i can yeah i get it but if it was the last one coming up and all of a sudden ta-da it's him it's like no like that's just bad writing and i won't like it if uh it turns out that the last 10 minutes it's going to be explaining something that oh we didn't show it to you just so that we can tell you that in 10 minutes well thanks for painting a picture for me i i won't yeah. like it you know, as you know, Guy Pierce took the role as a favor to Kate Winslet, you know, it, it could have been a favor. He made, it's just her, this is Kate's show. You know, she that she's the producer. Yeah. She's the one who got this off the ground. So she got their friends at it. She could have said, hey, what it is, blah, blah, you know, I need your help with this. But all right, we're going to go right now because we got, you know, a couple of minutes. Four minutes left before, before it goes right? and stuff yeah. like that. And, you know, I, I, I appreciate everyone for stopping by. We have one more episode left after this, uh, and we, we have another live stream on Tuesday, right? Yeah. Talking about the, the this upcoming episode, so we'll be back yep. on Tuesday to do that and everything mm -hmm. else and stuff like that. So uh, that is what it is. As for inviting people for, I can't invite people who don't watch the show to, to talk about <laughs> the stuff. <laughs> it really would, it really wouldn't make any sense like that. And I'm not really, I, I don't know, I'm. I'm yeah. just doing this. <laughs> That's the best way I could say. All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming. And as always, thumbs up this video, spread it across the realm, and also subscribe. And uh, until next time, you know who it is. Peace. And stay sexy.